It's great. Six habits of super healthy food. Oh. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T. Let me pass this, take a chance to bet. I was going through some magazines here, old magazines. I mean, really old magazines. Over 10 years, I don't know. It was just about. So I'll tell you if I ran the issue back then. I don't know where I came from. So look at the date here. But these are old magazines I used to. Uh, November 2014. Hey, 10 years ago. All right. See all these uh, it says African Women magazine. African Women. Well, he's back with me. Believe me, back then because I'm here because I used to get them for my wife to have because they have uh, they have fashion in it, you know. So she could, because she's a she's a tailor, so she she makes stuff up. You know? so, oh, let me move this thing over just a little bit. Right here. Uh, anyway, so I was looking through that, but then I found this other magazine. I remember getting this one a long time ago, and uh, it's about uh, it's a bunch of stuff. But you know, it's called the the Afro Polo, the Afro Politan, the Afro Politan, right? It's like what the, what the cover looks like. Right? It really about to go here. Here's a here's an article uh, on the travel. It says uh, Afro Punk, the African Cultural Odyssey. It's about the Afro Punk music, uh, mu no movement. Centered on music. I think it says it right here. Afro Punk is a cultural movement with music as its core. Its website says Afro Punk is defining culture by the collective creative actions of the individual and the group. It is a safe place. A blank space to freak out in, to construct a new reality, to live your life as you see fit, while making sense of the world around you. Words, no. Got my hat on, man. My son hat. Uh, anyway, so I was do do. I said I would read, read, read a little bit on Sundays, but uh, what I real not what I realized, but. Uh, well, uh, I was talking to my sister yesterday, you know, it's kind of interesting. I never know these things, but every, every, well, let me put it this way. <laughs> she said something interesting. She said, oh yeah, you, you, you pass those tests easy. Like, I never look at myself as a test pass or whatever have you. But um, basically she's saying what a lot of people have said recently that I, recently in the last 10 years. Because I sort of don't pay attention to stuff, right? I said, you know, you're an intellectual. I'm going to like, I'm not an intellectual. I'm somewhat, you know, a little bit ahead of the curve, but I'm not. But I have to sort of uh, uh, acquiesce to that because I've been looking at a lot of things on the internet. Where, you know, people are, I'm going to use this term, people are retarded. It's not that I'm an intellectual. It's just that I'm not retarded. It's retarded. I'm using the word that we should, I should look that up. I'll use that another day. And that's the problem. People are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But let, let, I'm going to read this book. Let's do it like that. That's better. Uh, and there's, therein lies the problem. Now, you know, we should be doing institutions, stuff like that. We get distracted by, by all kinds of things. I think that culture is the, it's the let's say the last frontiers, is one of the things that, uh, that they haven't infected yet. But they, meaning the people against, against what they're against, against everything. You know, they've infected the politics. They've infected... The, the, the finance, of course, the financial thing, you know how that happened, because you know, uh, at some particular point, I guess it started really in the 70s, mid 70s, uh, the, the, the people who usually, the Ivy League people that would go to Ivy League schools, they would get out, and then they would do some community, or they would do some service in government, you know, so, so you have pretty smart people, you know, dealing with government and stuff, and then they go out and do their, their little thing, they serve their government, but uh, that's a slow life. Okay, uh, but at some particular point, people started to make this a career, I'm talking about Joey the Bee, you know, people aren't too intellectually swift, you know what I mean, retarded, right? They started to make this, hey, we could, I can work this because I can't be a good lawyer, I can't be a whatever, I can certainly be a politician. And so then they get in power, and there are people who know nothing, they're retarded, you know? So we've been led by a bunch of retarded people. I'm just letting you know, they're retarded. Look up the word, you know? <laughs> So anyway, so I was talking to my sister, and I was re realizing certain things. And one of the things I realized, I said, because she, she, she she's a, a nurse. She's like the nurse practitioner level nurse and stuff. But when she writes notes, she talks she talks ghetto. <laughs> she talks like from Patterson Projects, where she's from. 
talk South Bronx, right? And when she talked, she's a regular black woman. You know how black women are loud and whatever. Right? But when she writes, she writes like at some we some beyond professional level. So when her notes get whatever, when something happens, notes get, it goes like to the top. And people like the press say, "You wrote this." They they they, they can't, you know, <laughs> like that. And so one of the things I realized, at least for my, my my family, everybody has this specialty. But my sister writes excellent. I write excellent, right? Um, the, uh, my, the smartest one in the family was was, was Lawrence, who, who died in jail. But he was like a, he's like the smartest one to me. He's the, he was the intellectual, like the math, math and all this stuff. He could do math and all. This. He's like brilliant, right? But he, he was his career. He was a career career, uh, career criminal. He, he 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 actually died in uh, in uh, in jail in ninety five. And one of the things my sister reminded me of is that during the Vietnam era, because they were drafting people, but like I was the second son. And Lawrence was behind me, but uh, and of course you you're being drafted or whatever. But they could there was some law put in place where that they couldn't if there was like something they couldn't take the first son that would be my older brother. And my the the other they could take one of the other sons, but my younger brother Lawrence he was in jail, so. <laughs> but I it, it's turned out right. But, but the point is, so I was I was primed to whatever. So anyway, so I did. I, I did what well, m most of the smart people are back back then did. We all went into the Air Force because you know you take the test for the Air Force. You have to keep them flying. You didn't have to do all the you know going being fought like the fought like the like, like the army, and you certainly wasn't going to kill like the Marines do. And you wasn't going. And as far as black people, you weren't in the ship with a bunch of you know uh, 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 racists from the from the South. So the safest place for a black person was at least at least black person had some kind of facility to pass tests. <laughs> would be would be in the Air Force. Let me, tell you what, what, I, I, let me keep on on this thing. This is very funny. It's funny to me. I used to, we, I, I, I never left the States, you know. I did all my service, you know. I was at the Bar Air Force Base most of the time. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I would take cl classes, you know, extension classes from Trent State College. And I was even smart with that because I knew that when I got out, I was going to go back to, to, to college, right? But I was going to go to a state school, namely, like Rutgers, a state school. So I knew that the Trenton, the Trenton State, this is a state school. They would have to take the, uh, the the credits, you know, put it onto the things. So, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Well, what other things happen? Well, because in, it's, in, 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 in the military, you're always taking tests to upgrade yourself. I think I was, I was an E4, whatever. So I had three stripes. Well, that's the E4, whatever it is. I, I'm trying to get out. I'm not trying to advance, you know, become, become a, a, a E5 or whatever the next one was, with, the one with the four stripes, you know, with, Three stripes up and, and one stripe, whatever, right? Uh, staff sergeant, whatever it was. And so uh, the, the, the training officer, he pulled me aside one well, he, 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 was, he was doing an interview. He said, Sloan, I, I don't understand. You know, you know we get all your, your you know, when you're taking these extension clauses, you're getting all A's and stuff like that. But yet and still you can't pass this, 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 this sergeant's test? I said, oh. Yeah, Sarge, I, I, I don't know, you know, I, I, maybe just that day, I just don't test right, you know, sometimes the you know, test gets me all upset, so I, 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 what can I tell you, right, and he looked at me, because he knew everybody was going to say, <laughs> he looked at me like, he looked at me like, get out of here, <laughs> so my, what I'm trying to tell you is this, uh, what am I trying to, what I'm trying to tell you is this, uh, things happen the way they're supposed to happen, right, but you also have an obligation. Like these people here, they, 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 they're, they're using culture as an institution to start a movement. You know, we, need, we need institutions, but the institution doesn't necessarily have to be started by, by a, a group of people. You know, it's just one person. I'm, I'm doing my little thing in Zimbabwe, and you know, we're, we're moving along quite well. You know, let's see what happens in the next year. But we have all kinds of problems because people refuse to, I'm not talking about, if, see, I don't want to, I'm not into revolution. Revolution is just, you know, revolution, and then you have counter-revolution, and revolution, so you, you're revolving. <laughs> revolution is you're revolving, like a hamster wheel. I'm, I'm like Boots Riley. I want the system totally done in. Just, because we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't uh, prop up these institutions, we didn't fuel these institutions, jump out of institutions, have somebody else jump in that, that's even worse than we are, you know. We didn't, 
that's not our, it's not our institution that we started. You see, these institutions, you know, are not in our interest. At, at, at the most, you could say they, they stem from the, the royalist system. You know, the, the, the Romans, the royalists. You know, where, you know, the, the king says this, and you do that. You got to use a passport, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. That's the royalist kind of thing. We're not royalists. We're we're down. We're not even down. We're, we're, we're regular folk. We we we're not in that 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 peasant uh, plebe. Uh, what was a subject of feudal? That's not that's not our tradition. So whatever system we, we need to get rid of the entire system, and then we'll figure out what we want. And it won't be the royal. It won't be what they. It won't be what they handed out to us. What they're doing right now is what they do. I keep on saying that they, but you know that they are fucked up. Is they pick a few, they select a few people that they become the warders or the whatever the, the gatekeepers, whatever you want to call them, that that hold us in place. You know, and that's what they want. They want to hold us in place, you know, and uh, I hate to say it, I'm not advocating this, I'm not arrogant, but you know the Mau Mau movie in Africa right now, you know the Mau Mau movie in, 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 in Kenya, Kenya? Uh, it was a good movie, uh, Sidney Poitier was in it, uh, it was a good movie about Mau Mau, uh, and what they did, what people understand with Mau Mau's movies is different areas, what they went, they went after the agents of the colonizer. In other words, they went after the middle, the, 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 the people they were propping up to be the middle class. The, 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 that, that's who they started to eliminate. The people in the way, you know, your, 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 your I'm not going to mention their names, but then I'll be, whatever. But you know, your people that, that, that want to be uh, in power, that, that want to be the, the, the power brokers for the colonizers. That's who they got. That's, that, that's who they went after. They realized that that, that that whole middle class, that whole thing that they were propping up, those are the ones with the problems. It's like, like what Malcolm said. Malcolm had this meeting one time, of course, at least one time. He says, okay, those people who are into revolution, raise your hand. They raise your hand. Those people do those people that. I said, okay, you people who raise your hand, intro, you got to kill these people over here. <laughs> Malcolm, boy, you got to love Malcolm. Well, see, the thing is, well, he meant it. I don't think he meant it really. Or maybe he did. But figuratively, what you have to do is get rid of these people that keep on being in the way. Stopping our progress. You know, we have this whole reparations thing. Oh, by the way, uh, 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 you should write in for me because I don't work. Just write in uh, uh, lineage reparations instead of you don't want to. Uh, I'll, I'll do that campaign a little bit. I'll keep on the weeks and weeks. I'll keep on reminding you that. The other thing you can do is uh, there's Article 6 of the UN. They're kicking the U.S. out of the, out of, out of the UN. Uh, those are my two, two things I'll tell you right now. But anyway, so that's the point. What we need to do is get rid of the system that keeps on subjugating us. You don't want to do that? Then you're really not into what's supposed to be done. Just letting you know, just thought I'd come to you and let you know. Because that's what I do. I let you know. 